opportunity to go check out all the boxes. My name is Gabriel Stolman, and I'm a restaurateur in New York City. So we have five restaurants in the West Village of Manhattan. They are all different styles, and they're all different names. What our hope is, is that the connective tissue that one is able to identify between them is, is that of hospitality. So we try to create the variety within a small geographical zone. So for people that want to eat something different, you know, they want Italian one night and they want seafood another night and they want a burger another night, you've got your different options, but hopefully what you find is that same convivial atmosphere filled with warmth, genuine sincerity. I grew up in Northern Virginia, just outside of Washington, D.C., an area called Fairfax. When I was graduating from high school, I thought that what I wanted to do with my life was to be a public school teacher. I wanted to be a high school history teacher. Uh, I come from a family of teachers. I wanted a university that had a great history program, of which Wisconsin has one of the top in the nation. Then after high school, I went to the University of Wisconsin, where I spent some of the most amazing years of my life, which really helped me find this, my love for this industry. And I started working in restaurants. You know, I was a cook and then I saw waiters making more, working less, so I wanted to be a waiter. Then as a waiter, I saw bartenders making more, so I wanted to be a bartender. And I got to be introduced to a community. On our days off, we come see you. On your day off, come see us. And chefs started making dishes for me and I started trying new ingredients and I started becoming exposed to the Madison Farmer's Market. And, and it was this whole world of food really started to expand for me. And I really fell in love with it. And I fell in love with cooking and entertaining. And I thought, wow, you know, the next evolution from being a bartender is, why don't I curate the whole experience? Why don't I be an owner? And I came to New York to try that out, and I figured if it doesn't work, my fallback is I'll go be a teacher. 13 years later, I'm still in restaurants. You have to ask yourself. My time as a student was all about distilling lots of information quickly. In today's lecture? And you needed to take all that information and formulate your own opinion and make an argument. And who do you suppose? I think I honed those skills in college. Sure. Stuff will get moved in, like, no, I don't. Every day I'm getting reports from all five restaurants. I'm getting information about things that are broken. I need to prioritize constantly what is you know, the right concept. Where should we do it? Who should we do it with? I need to be decisive. I'm very grateful. I get to work with amazing people like these guys. And when you have the right professors and when you have the right research programs, they attract more brilliant minds, which is something that I really applaud Madison at. I see a parallel in our restaurants. If I team up with a brilliant chef, that chef will attract aspiring cooks. And that is going to give the birth and the opportunity for new thinking and ideas that can help shape and change parts of this world and this country in some of the most amazing and beautiful ways. And we need to really cultivate that kind of environment and atmosphere.